too. And very intelligent. Um, before talking to her, I noticed she's pretty. So about intelligence, is I knew after we have talked. And she, there is a problem. She, she knows how to find a way out of it. And above all, what I loved about her is we could talk. We just talk about anything and nothing, <laughs> especially when we're away from each other. Yeah, I really love that she's a good friend. I'm never bored when she's around. It felt so nice to have my grandma put that gown on me. It, it felt like, we love you. I know they kept saying that. Debs really wanted the wedding at the beach and we were there the day before the tides weren't behaving well. So that's why we put the wedding at 1 so that it ends at 2 so that the tide doesn't catch. So in my mind I'm just thinking she will come to the venue and find it has been changed. She won't go down. <laughs> she might refuse to come down. So the moment we came in at 2, we still haven't left Tudor. So I, I, I told them I'm leaving, I'm going to the venue. So, because I had to come now and just confirm, is it still the way it is? Yeah. So that she, she doesn't come and receive a surprise. Because no one, no, none of the bridal team had come, but there was one person who was doing this. So I come down, I see things are okay, it has been set up, music is blazing. And uh, then I'm like, hey God, you're great. Peeping, there she's coming. Then I felt emotions from my legs going up, <laughs> and I felt I was going to fall down. I had I had to hold on to Victor this way. Then I don't know something. I just felt water in my eyes. I wasn't crying. There's was just some water <laughs> in my eyes. You know, near the beach, <laughs> but, but just a few tears of joy, and I was just overwhelmed that we are actually pulling it off. Uh, this is something I've been planning for a whole year and it's happening and just thinking everything and ah, it's finally here. Dearly beloved, we have come together at this time before God to witness and celebrate the union in marriage of Sleta O God and Deborah Kwamboka and pray for his blessing upon them. Would you take Sleta to be your husband and be united with him in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him? 
will you cherish him, honor him, comfort and protect him, and forsaking all others, and be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? she will thank you very much it, there are things that are legal now so for me that is what is bringing you know the the change um that's that's what i'm feeling like that we can now be together longer you see like all these other days we may not be able to spend as much time because everybody has to go but um, now that we, it's married it's legal we can spend as much time as we want to yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited that it's sealed. I didn't know it would feel this way, but it's... I can't explain the feeling exactly, but it feels good. It feels good. Uh, knowing that I'll be coming home to our wife every day. Knowing that no longer lonely. <laughs> I, John Slater, take you to Barack Obama to be my wife, to have and to hold. In sickness and in health, to love and to cherish and to honor in the Lord till we are separated by death. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I was so afraid of the tide. The, the reverend was speaking and I was feeling like I could open my eyes and, and check where is the water now. But we also thank God that um, the tide was able to be calm the whole time. And um, it actually just, the water came in just after we had left for the reception. We went to the reception. Being received by Sikiliza Africa and the women the, was just nice. It was so much fun. <laughs> Um, about this whole session was I had a crazy bridal party and they had so much energy it was so much fun because it, it sort of rubbed onto other people who are also not on the bridal party and that brought about a lot of liveliness in the place it was so nice people danced and enjoyed themselves <laughs> We used to see each other in past year. We went to the same university. We went to the same university. Well, university Sepkelian campus. I knew I felt something, but I didn't think it was strong enough for me to want to go in. So I, I was feeling kind of 50-50 about it. So he came home. I actually wanted him to come home before I can actually give my consent, because I wanted him to be sure about me, about where I come from, about myself and, every, and my background before I actually say 
before maybe he would come home and realize I'm not what he thinks I am and, and go. So he came home and told me he's, he still wants to be with me. And yes, so I didn't say yes. I actually hugged him and that's where we started dating. That is last year, last year end of May, we went to Ginger and, and that's when now he proposed formally and gave me a ring. And uh, from there, we, we just came back to Kenya and from Ginger, he felt like he didn't propose enough. So I, I don't know, it's not that I said no, I said yes, but he still felt like it wasn't enough. So he did another proposal at Iten, the Iten viewpoint. So I had another set of rings <laughs> for, for engagement, for proposal. So from there, we came back to Eldoret and I came to Nairobi. I wanted to surprise him by going to Eldoret. But now, him, he had also planned to surprise me by coming to Nairobi. So his surprise came before mine. So I was in town, Nairobi, at the stage, when I just see him showing up. So he called me and told me he's sending somebody to bring me something. I was shocked to see him, of course, I, I made a scream. And this, he gave me another ring. <laughs> I was engaged five times. <laughs> five rings for engagement. Actually, there are six now. It was, it was nice. I love that they brought so much into the, into the, into the, the whole reception. They, they were very excited and happy for us. And then, finally, the dance with Slater's father was another one. So I was thinking, he's here and he wants to dance with me. And then I'm thinking about my mom. I'm thinking, what is my mom thinking that I'm dancing with my father-in-law? I'm sure her, she would also, she would have an issue even hugging Slater, not to talk of the dad. So that conservative nature of my family made me a little bit nervous. But again, Slater's father is so much fun to be around, so we, we just had to pull it My mom raised me, yeah, uh, single-handedly. My dad chipped in here and there, yeah. But when uh, I've always, she, she did everything in her might to make me who I am today. So her approval meant a lot. So when mom met Debs, she, 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 she approved and she was like, ah, no, at first she saw uh, photos in WhatsApp and be hi yeah, yeah, but I'm baby no jani and beer. And now that you've got ginger, but you to my picture, I got ah, mom, call me on your Facebook. <laughs> Surprise. I was with my younger sister who had shown her. And then I said, don't worry, you'll meet her. We will be coming down, then you'll meet her.